From Mita to Pita. Ana Maria Vrkic, Cristina Zirdum. Hello. Look inside to find out more about me. Hello, little friend of mine. Guess my name till I count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guessing my name is not so hard, but I'll introduce myself anyway in my yard. This is where I live. Well, listen now. Peter is my name. To tell you an interesting story, I have the aim. One day, my mommy, whose name is Lamy, found out I was in her tummy. She was jolly, jumping all day around, and showed everyone the picture from the ultrasound. On this picture, I'm only one millimeter long. I was tiny, but tough and strong. My mommy wanted to call me Millie, but daddy said that it was just too silly. I was as little as a grain of sugar or a bubble in beer. Can you find something so small in your imagination or your near? In my week 20, daddy called me Santi. It was because of my one centimeter long neck. Fortunately, he changed his mind in a sec. My neck was not so small and it was strong. By the way, can you think of something one centimeter long? Is it a delicious grain of corn? Or a little bee that was just born? I wonder how many millimeter mees can fit in a one centimeter long bee. My granny was so excited and proud I was born, she couldn't stop kissing me in my one decimeter long horn. She said I should be named Desi. Luckily, to my mom it sounded messy. If ten bees stand still in a row, they will make one decimeter. Did you know? Can you think of food of that magnitude? Either raw or stewed? Maybe cake or a pear? Or what about a chocolate bear? Now this is the most interesting part. You will find out why my name is such art. My mother wanted to call me Meter. She thought there was no name that could be sweeter. My father thought she lost her mind. He said, the right name I will find. Meter is not even a name, and I know one similar, but not the same. Peter will be the name of this little lad, said my father, all proud and glad. My full name is Peter Dong, and now my legs are exactly one meter long. One meter is as big as ten pears, or if you like it more, ten chocolate bears. Now you think of something one meter long and name it, relax, take your time, and then easily say it. Now since I mentioned food, I am instantly in a hungry mood. I love to eat from my granny's ranch, and I always eat from the highest branch. Then my neck is one kilometer long, but I don't care, up high I belong. Does anything of that length come to your mind? Maybe a giant snake, long but nice and kind. In my neck I can put a thousand giant figs, or I can put a thousand greedy pigs. Luckily, pigs I do not eat. They are not neat nor sweet. One day I would like to make a race from my ranch to space. I wonder how long the race would be if there existed a road to another galaxy. When I grow up, I will be an astronaut, just like the one in the book my dad bought. To organize a race in space will be my pleasure, but first my dad told me I have to learn how to measure. To measure your height, legs, arms, index finger, foot and nose you should try before I leave and say goodbye.